Hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. Today is the last of the Korean freshwater epic series. We're going to catch the last three. And then, yes, we'll be going to the ocean. But let's get started. Let's catch these last three. So the last ones that we're going to catch get down here to the epics is the Gobi Minnow, Korean Bullhead, and the Oily Shiner. These are going to be found on 10, 11, and 12. And we're going to use a spinner and a worm to catch these guys. Let's go to level 10. So on level 10, we're going to use the spinner and Oily Shiner shows it's mid-level, but we're going to use the spinner right on the top of the water. Like always. <laughs> uh, if you haven't noticed, the epics tend to bite on the top, no matter where it says in there. And same with the, uh, the bait. I, I always use a short line on the bait and just do my fly fishing technique. So. There's kind of a theme here, so you can actually use this technique on the DLC when it comes out, hint, hint, to catch some of those epics before I post the videos. But let's get started. Grab the fishing pole and just cast out there. Oh. <laughs> and just instantly reel it in. Oh, got an instant bite. That might be it. And as always, I am using Lure A. I always use Lure A, and I always use Bait A. That's not it, because they don't fight. Um, that's how I get my instant catches. Ooh, that's kind of laggy there. Lure A and Bait A will attract him from a long ways away. That's how I get these instant red lines. And I would assume by the time you get to the point where you can catch epics, I then usually have enough money to afford the, the best gear, the best lures, the best bait, the best fishing pole. So always use the best if you can. Oh, there's an instant bite. That was a really small splash. That might be him. There's a couple of other small fish on this map that will cause a small splash, but usually if it's that small, it's the epic. Yep, there he is. Oily Shiner. Cool. Let's keep him, because why not? I'm maxed out. <laughs> and let's go to the next level. Level 11. Once again, we're going to use the spinner. And this one is actually a topwater fish, the Korean bullhead. And likes the spinner. So we're just going to go across the top of the water. I usually look for swirls. There's a swirl over there to the right. I'll go for that swirl here in a minute. Um, they do hit on the swirls. So if you see a swirl, aim for those first. Or you can just do the aim across. So the swirl was over here a little bit ago. When they disappear, they'll still be there. Are you guys excited for the DLC? I know I am. I've been playing the beta, and the maps are amazing. So you're going to love it. You haven't had to play in the beta yet. All right, there's the Korean bullhead right there. Well, let's keep that guy and let's head off to the next level. 
level 12. And yes, there is 13, 14, and 15. I did start with 13 and 14 and 15. So if you didn't see those videos, go back, um, look for those, because those were special requests. So that's why I started with 15, um, because somebody was wanting uh, me to start with that level. So that's why I did it. So let's go to 12. 12 is a little dark. We are going to use boat fishing for this one. And I went ahead and bought the light up bobber. We got both bobbers there now. And on the Gobi minnow, it is a low depth fish. However, we're going to use a worm using my fly fishing technique on the top of the water. So I'm going to grab my line here, press up on my thumbstick. I do have the worm up there. And we're going to just cast out left and just work our way to the right. Not an instant bite. Not an instant bite. I do let it sit there for a second. Sometimes it's not immediate on these. But often it is. And I cast a couple more, a little short here. And let's cast out there where those bubbles are at, just to see. Nothing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset by switching to hard and back to expert. Nothing. Let's cast where the bubbles are at. I need to cast a little bit farther. There are some bubbles there. Nope. So the new maps, these animations and stuff, they have a lot of cool new animations in the new maps as well. There's some animals walking around. There's airplanes flying by. You see people walking across the beach. <laughs> There's just, they did a really good job. I was quite impressed. I'm looking forward to downloading it. Today is the day that the DLC comes out. A couple hours. I will be downloading it. And playing that. But don't worry, I'll continue my ocean epics. Oh, there's an instant. Might be it. Or close to instant. These epics are almost the And yeah, that was too big of a splash. Too big of a splash. That's not going to be fun. trying to hold my head kind of straight. I've noticed a lot of times in my videos uh, my screen is always kind of tilted to the left and when I'm playing I don't notice it but when I watch the videos back I notice it. Oh, that's definitely not it. I notice that my screen is sometimes tilted to the left. So I'm trying to focus to make sure that I stay straight. See if that helps. Yep, that's not him. I'll take him. Go towards my freshwater score. 
50, so I was 50 something this morning, which was interesting considering I've been playing the beta for the whole week, so <laughs> I haven't been on this actual VR fishing game for a few days. I thought I better get something recorded for you guys, so. <laughs> um, actually, took the day off today to play the new beta and play the new DLC when it comes out. Um, I thought, well, this would be a good opportunity to record something. Oh, my lure switched. Let me go back to the worm. There it is. I do that sometimes. I got to check it every once in a while because I notice it switches on me. I think it's because I, when I pull back, sometimes I'll accidentally press to the right at the same time and resets my bait. So periodically I go up and look at it just to make sure I got the correct bait on there. On this lake, sometimes a river, what is it? It's a lake or a river? Eh, this is a lake. I'll go through spurts where I'll catch like three of them in a row and then then it'll be two or three resets before I catch any again. That one was pretty quick. That might be it. Nope. Not him. So yeah, during the beta, I seen some <laughs> some funny glitches. There was one where a, a deer had his head stuck in the sand. It was pretty funny. Butt sticking up in the air. <laughs> Thought that was hilarious. seen a few other glitches and some bugs that well they really get on top of that and they fix them right away as we report them so hopefully by the time you guys get it those bugs will be gone but if not I'm sure they'll fix them right away they're really good at that. The developers of this game are really good at listening to the audience and trying to please everybody. Well, you can't always please everybody, but they try. Yeah, I want to reset after I catch this guy. And yes, I have used a long line on here just to see if it makes any difference. And nope, not at all. Doesn't make them, doesn't make it any faster. This level here, is, like I said, uh, there's times I'll catch three in a row and then there's times that I will sit here for five, ten minutes and not catch anything. Doesn't matter what technique I use, whether it be fly fishing or Putting a long line on there and letting it sit out there with the bobber floating across the water. Yeah. So this seems to this is usually the fastest way to fly fish with it. Okay. 
I'll stop there. That was instant. Yeah, still too big of a splash. Come on. This one's taking a little bit longer. Kind of preparing for the ocean levels because yes, the ocean levels aren't quite as fast as these freshwater levels as far as catching the epics go. They uh they take a little bit of time. On the ocean levels I I recommend just fishing. Just fishing for everything and eventually you'll catch the epics. Um but of course I will do videos and show you my techniques for touching them. Oh there we go. There we go. That was a small splash coming in really easily. Hopefully we caught him. There it is. Yep. Gobi Minnow. Woohoo! Keep that guy. Add you to my fish tank. Alright, well, that concludes the freshwater series of the epics. Um, I will leave a link to my spreadsheet. Uh, the spreadsheet has all the different minnow or the different baits and stuff to use. Has all the lures, has links to all the different videos for the different fish that you're trying to catch. So if you're looking for specific ones, it'll be right there in that spreadsheet. And once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you can start watching the DLC videos that will be coming out here shortly. Um, and of course, the rest of the Korean ocean levels. And once again, thanks again. And until I talk to you again, have a great day. Bye-bye.